Hello and welcome to this Excel Tips video. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video, I'm going to show you three really simple ways to extract the last name from a full name in Excel. And none of these methods is going to use a formula. So let's get started. Here I have these list of names and you can see I have a mix of names. So some cells have only the first and the last name. Some cells would also have a middle name and then some cells would also have a prefix. Now, if I want to extract the last name using a formula, then that could get very complicated because the data is not consistent. But let me show you a very simple find and replace technique that will do this in seconds. So I'll first select this data, copy this and paste it here in column B so that my final result is in column B. Now I'm going to use find and replace on this. So with these cells selected, I'm going to hold the control key and press the H key on my keyboard. And this opens the find and replace dialog box. You can get the same thing if you go to the home tab and here in the editing group, you click on find and select and then click on replace. Now in the find and replace dialog box, I want to find the last space character and remove everything before it. So I'm going to use asterisk and then space character. So when I use this, it is going to find the last space character and then I can replace everything before the last name with anything I want. And since I want to extract the last name, which means I do not want anything before the last name, I'm going to keep replace with blank. Now when I click on replace all, it is going to make all the replacements and I have the last name right here. The second method that I want to show you is by using flash fill. Flash fill was introduced in Excel 2013 and it works by identifying the pattern while you are inputting the data. So here I have the names in column A and if I type a couple of last names in column B, then flash fill would be able to identify that I'm trying to extract the last part of the name and then give me all the last names. So let's see how it works. I'm going to type the first name, the last name in cell B2 and then I'm going to type it for cell B3. And while I'm doing it, you'll see that it shows me these gray suggestions. This is the expected result that it would fill in the column if I hit enter right away. So if I hit enter right now, then I get the last names instantly in all these cells. So this is really fast. But one thing you need to remember about flash fill is that sometimes it may not be able to identify the right pattern. So in those cases, it's a good idea to quickly check whether the result you're getting is right or not. Another way you can use flash fill is in this case, we saw those gray names that appeared, but in case you do not see those, simply input the name or whatever the expected result is in the cells, in the first two cells, then select the entire column and then hold the control key and press the E key. So control E is the shortcut for flash fill. You can also do the same thing if you go to the home tab and here in editing, you have the fill option and with it fill, you have flash fill. And the last method that I want to show you is by using Power Query to extract the last name. Now, if you have to do this only once in a while, then you are better off using Find and Replace or Flash Fill. But if this is something that you need to do quite often as a part of your job, then you can use Power Query. Now, what Power Query does is it creates a query where it takes the full name and give you the output, which is the last name. And once this query is created, you do not need to do this over and over again. The next time you get a new data set, it could be in a new file, it could be in a new workbook, it could be in a new uh, folder. You can simply connect your query to that file, get the data from there and then run the query. So with a single click, with a single refresh, you will have all the processing done and it is going to give you the last name. So this is something that can really save you a lot of time. So let me show you how this is done. I have this data here. And I have converted this data into an Excel table because if you're working with Power Query, then it is always recommended to convert your data into an Excel table. Here, I'm going to select any cell, go to the data tab and click on from selection. And when I do that, it opens the Power Query editor and it gives me the full name here, this column with the names. Now, if you only want the last name column, then we can work on this column itself. But if you want the full name, as well as a column that has the last name, then it is a good idea to duplicate it. So I'm going to right click on the header and then click on duplicate columns. So here I have the duplicate column and now I'm going to extract the last name here. So I'm going to right click on the header of this duplicate column, go to split column and then click on by delimiter. And here my delimiter is going to be space. So I'm going to split the text in the columns based on the space and not just any space, 
the rightmost delimiter. So it is going to split my text strings, the names based on the last space character. So I would have the last name and everything before the last name. So here, if I click OK, you can see it has split the names where I have everything before the last name and the last name. Because I do not need this one, I can right click and then click on remove. And I can rename this to say last name. And once this is done, once I have what I need, I can click on close and load. And when I do that, it is going to insert a new worksheet in the workbook with the same name of the table. So here, my table name was table one. Here you can see it's table one. So this is the same name with which the a sheet has been inserted and this sheet has the result. Now, you must be thinking this is a long and tedious process. Why do it? But let me show you the real benefit of this. Let's say you get a new data set and the, the names change. So in this case, let me manually change these names. Let's make this Ray. Let's make this Scott. Now, if I want to extract the last name from these, I do not have to repeat the same process of using Power Query. I can simply go to here, table one, and you can see the names here as of now are the old ones, Roy and everything. I can right click, go to refresh. And as soon as I do that, these names automatically update. So in case you get a new data set, which could be in this workbook, which could be in any workbook, you do not have to do the process again and again. You can simply right click, refresh, and the query is going to do all the heavy lifting and you are going to get the result, the last name here. If you're interested in learning more about Power Query, I have a free course that you can access on YouTube. I will have a link in the description. So these are three simple ways that you can use to extract the last name from full name in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.